What's up, Excel? Willy Wonka here, and uh, I thought I'd make a video about my um, one-week character. Uh, I played a summoner, and uh, the reason why I chose to play a summoner was usually when you make a character, it needs uh, certain items, uh, certain 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 gems, and uh, it can be hard to get those. And uh, if you're trying to compete and you're in the end game and uh, you can't get one of those things, it might ruin ruin your character or slow you down or um, yeah, just just slow you down too much. And when you're when you're doing a one week race, you don't have much time to do trading, you don't have much time to do crafting and setting up your character. And that's that's why I chose to do the summoner. I initially wanted to do a split tower character. Um, but getting a bow that was good enough would have been too hard, I think. Um, I only saw a couple of good bows and yeah, yeah it would have been really hard, I think. Uh, the, 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 the bad thing with the summoner, as many people know, is leveling up. But because we were, we were in a party um, you know, I could rely a little bit on my team teammates, and uh, slowly but surely, I could start con start to contribute more and more. So leveling up with this character, um, I used freeze pulse for most of the time. I used freeze pulse uh, LMP, <laughs> and that was pretty much all my links throughout the the, the early game. And uh, slowly but surely, I got some zombies, and you know they helped out. But yeah, I was pretty shitty up until um, level like 60-ish. Once we started to get those specters we really wanted, um, it, it really took off. And uh, by the end, I think this character was super effective. And um, why summoners are so good is, you know, you, you just get to the point where you get the specters you need, you have the gems you need, and it just performs excellent without much, yeah. All you need for this character is Bones of Uller, um, and you're good to go. And Bones of Uller, as you know, is a low-level unique that drops all the time and is worth next to no worth next to nothing. So, after getting Bones of Uller, you just need to get to you know the good specters like the Flame Ribbons. I didn't use them once. Uh, you can get the Burning Miscreations from Lunaris. Um, those are very very good. They do the AOE burn around them. Also, you got the the bubble evangelists from uh, Upper Scepter. Those were the ones I chose to use throughout most of the race. And uh, they add so much safety with their proximity shield. And um, they do physical damage, so they synergize very well with your zombies by using wound ability. And um, also, most of the parties were or players were physical. Um, that's become like the normal norm now. So physical damage is, uh, yeah, used a lot. So vulnerability is excellent. Um, so that's why I used uh, this build. Um, the gems I used, if you go into it, let me just switch over to the game. That's not the one I wanted. Actually, it's fine. Let's keep the Kraken there. Yeah, that's 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 my that's uh, that's my Kraken right there. You like it? I usually remove it for the YouTube videos, but let's keep it there. So, how I uh, use my gems on this character. The cool thing about summoners is you can do a lot of snapshotting. This is maybe something that will be fixed in the future, but uh, I'll show you guys anyhow. Uh, I use Ray Spectre, um, and um, I have Tabla Rasa here. So, I'm using a six link, although I don't have one, I use Tabla Rasa. Let me just go through the gems, Jesus. Ray Spectre, Life Leech, Increased AoE, Added Fire, Minion Damage, Remote Mine. Uh, I use Increased uh, AoE for the bubbles to get larger on the Evangelists, as well as the AoE they put on the ground that deals physical damage. That also gets bigger. So uh, my, parties, uh, my party members have an easier time of getting into the bubble and, you know, deals larger area of effects with the damage. Um, Life Leech, for them to stay alive during uh, Physical Reflect. 
Uh, if it's double reflect, they still kill themselves unless I'm very, very careful. Um, I could run without life leech and um, just, you know, avoid physical reflect maps and avoid uh, double reflect and whatever and just go for the deeps. But I, I find it annoying to have to raise the specters all the time. So just to keep um, keep going without having to do all that work, I, I, I use life leech. Added fire. Just like EK gains 33% of um, physical damage as fire damage, very nice minion damage and remote mine. Remote mine, and you might say, remote mine. Why do you why do you use that? Um, well, you can use it with uh, specters. You throw down a mine next to a corp, detonate it, and will race uh, the specter, and it will get get the damage bonus. And uh, remote mine is a multiplier. Uh, as you can see, mines deals 47% um, more damage, so the Spectres get a multiplied damage there. Uh, and if you look at, for example, minion damage, it's um, additive. This is 72% increased damage, so this multiplies that one and all your passives and all that. So Remote Mine is very strong. Uh, you could also use the Trapper Belt that automatically uh, triggers traps, so you can get even more, more damage. Uh, but I, I didn't have the belt, so I just stuck with only remote mine. Also, another thing that's very strong is uh, uh, increased duration, faster casting, and increased AoE uh, to get even more survivability. It reduces your damage a little bit, but um, with those gems, your bubbles stay up for a longer time, and once they go down, they're right up again. So they never go down, and, and if you have three bubbles, if one goes down, another one is still up, so they just stay up all the time. So against like Storm Heralds, Piety, anything that shoots projectiles at you, yeah, you're just invulnerable forever. Uh, so yeah, there's probably all the gems you could put in here that I forgot, but that's what I use. Uh, my zombies, I'm just gonna go through my, you know, the most important links. Uh, my zombies I have uh, in a plus two helmet to get uh, higher levels on the gem uh, and thus increasing the HP of the, the zombies which is very important for them to stay alive uh, and it's not until like the gems become 15 or up where the, where the minions stop dying a lot so um, zombie and minion damage and faster attacks and of course I just snapshot and then I move it up here so I can uh, use this uh, with the zombies as well and what's cool with remote, remote mine is that you can you can place several remote mines, detonate them, and raise uh, more than one zombie um, every time. So let's see, how should I do this? Yeah, let's go through these. Uh, I didn't use freeze mine; just wanted to level it just for fun. Hatred, reduced mana, purity of elements. So in my party in the one week we had a lot of auras, so I was. Uh, very lucky to have that situation because uh, some minions naturally uh, need to heal and uh, when I'm having enough troubles you're running purity and hatred it's nice to have someone else run vitality but if you could get vitality in here uh, you would want that so the the ultimate aura setup I think uh, going solo uh, look at the cooldown time just dancing there would be hatred Purity and Vitality, I guess? Yeah, I'm not using Necromantic Aegis, so there's that. That's why I uh, want to run Purity. Uh, over here we have Temp Chains, Lightning Warp, Faster Casting, Vulnerability, I am Double Curse. Uh, over here we have Rejuve Totem, just to get a little bit more uh, healing for your minions. Mine is just 13, I'm lacking some strength. Uh, blind and skeletons. So I use skeletons with blind to um, reduce the damage from uh, hard hitting uh, boss bosses and mobs. Also, I got enfeeble. Uh, if I feel very threatened by a certain pack or anything, I do temp chains and enfeeble. But mostly, it's temp chains and vulnerability. In my offhand, I don't think I have anything interesting. I have burn damage for when I use miscreations, but. And Grace, of course, um, just in case someone else is running my auras. So yeah, that's that. My items are pretty shit. It's just life and resist and mana. And uh, that's it. Also, Bones of Uller is uh, required. And of course, a plus two helmet. 
So uh, the way we set this up is I use the bubbles. Uh, of course, burning miscreations deal more damage and have the best AOE of any specter. Uh, but in in my party in the one week, we already had another summoner, which was Green Dude, and he was running with the burning miscreations. So in, and, and they don't they don't uh, stack. So if someone else runs burning miscreations, the damage isn't doubled. Uh, it it just you know just the damage from one burning miscreation. So we had a really good synergy where I ran in with my bubbles. And the burning miscreations are super squishy, so they stayed protected under my specters. Um, and I mean my uh, my my specters do a lot of damage. I mean, they're very very strong. I'm not saying they're weak or anything. So you go to upper scepter of uh, uh, God. All right, so now I've killed everything around here, and uh, I just want to show everything here. Because it's kind of tedious to do what I'm doing. If you want a snapshot and if you want to get use your remote mine, you gotta clear all the corpses away. Otherwise, the mine will, you know, automatically target specters that you don't want to have. So I'm just removing all the trash. Also, you should type OOS so that you the corpses end up where they're su they're supposed to be. So that's one evangelist, that's two evangelists. That's an archer here. I don't want to cut this or, you know, make it seem like this is... Oh, it goes really fast. Also, I need to mention that I'm no, no expert on summoners. This is just... I'm, I'm doing this really basic. You can do so much more than what I'm showing here. Um... This is not like the be all and end all of summoner builds. There's one. All right, I think we're good now. So I'm just gonna go to town. Actually, let, let me just kill these specters. So take it out. Boom. Equip it. So I put on my Tabula Rasa. I put on Queen's Decree and Sid Breath. So this gives me minion damage, minion life, minion speed, minion life and uh, minion damage, so whenever I summon a specter, or a zombie for that matter, they will get those stats until they die, or I take out the gem and kill them, or whatever. Um, they're not updated, like for example, auras, when you enter a new zone, it checks the support gems and everything, and um, kind of recasts it. So, put one mine there, put one mine, mana issues there, one mine there, and... One mine there. Everything seems to be good. Hit D. And bam, we got three evangelists. So you go to town. Take the Spectre Gem into your uh, regular armor piece that you're using. I put remote, my remote, m remote mine back into my zombie socket. And uh, re-equip everything. So now I can stash these things in my stash, and I can keep them there, and uh, as long as my specters don't die and I have to recast them, I'll keep everything. Go back in here, boom, specters are still here. So let's uh, let's just throw in a map, shocking ground, chain, it's whatever. But before I enter, uh, I should mention uh, my pots. I'm using a sapping uh, of animation pot, this gives uh, a lot of life, it, it removes my mana to heal, and my minions get uh, almost half of it. Uh, of course, you have to have lost some life for this to work on your minions, so you would probably use two seeding pots, like this one. So seeding of animation instantly heal your minions, and uh, you could use one or two, maybe even three of these, and you can you know spam them to save your specters if something is happening. Uh, the only thing that's really scary for my specters is uh, Storm Herald because I'm not using increased duration on them, so uh, the, the bubbles go down for a little bit, as you can see. Also, my passives, let's just go through them really quickly. I'm using uh, plus one specter, of course, double curse to get uh, temp chains for uh, to make it easier for my specters and uh, zombies, and uh, so they don't get hit as much, and uh, vulnerability for added physical damage. 
vulnerability also is very good for burning miscreations, so you need this need this curse for both of those uh, specters. Um, Eldritch Battery, so you can use uh, multiple auras and uh, still cast stuff. And the uh, rest of it is just life, reduced uh, mana restoration, and uh, increased uh, mana effectiveness. I mean, <laughs> aura effectiveness, plus zombie. And uh, yeah, not too much. Uh, the reason I chose um, Witch is because you can get these flask nodes. And uh, they will increase your rarity, they will increase the healing, they will increase the duration, everything will be uh, boosted. At least the effect of them. And um, I thought that was nice. You can do a Scion and get some more life and skip that. And uh, it's all up to you, really. And I'll uh, put this link in the description. Also, my bandit um, rewards were Help Oak and Kill Kill. Uh, you could choose to do whatever you want there, but that uh, seemed like the logical choice for me. So, let's uh, head into the map. I just chose a random map, and uh, just to show you how they work, or how they operate. Show you some action. Where's my Enfeeble? There we go. Let's kill some mobs, and uh, get some Sambis. So I have remote mine with my zombies now, so I can just drop multiple mines and summon more than one zombie at a time. Really neat. Uh, my zombies at the at <laughs> at the moment are very offensive, and I use only damage support gems, and uh, it seemed to work for me. I use them only for single target damage and to soak up damage, of course. Uh, you could put minion life in there if you wanted to, you can put me melee splash, uh, but in the group setup I was running and uh, everything, the, the the extra damage was uh, really nice, I like that. So as you can see the AoE is pretty good on the Spectres, they kill them reasonably fast, and uh, they never take any damage. The only thing that can kill them is some kind of AoE, poison AoE, or maybe um, Storm Herald. It's not a whole lot that can kill them. So you can be really offensive if you want and just, you know, pull the specters ahead like this. Or you can, like, step by step walk forward. It's pretty sweet. It's a little bit boring, maybe. You could, uh,. Get yourself an arc with culling, maybe. So you can cast something else than just aura, um, curses. Nice. This is standard, so... Whatever. <laughs> My character is pretty squishy. I don't have any or armor or anything. But it, it works. So yeah, that's so that's uh, pretty much everything about this character. You can take it further. You can get a Shavrons. You can uh, go ES and get more auras. And there's there's many more things you can do. Um, I never got time to do it, so I'm not gonna tell you how to do them because I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, if you were interested in seeing how I did my character. This is how I did it. So, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.